Hello Year 5. This is a lesson from your Head Heart Hand Sheet, which the children in school are doing this week. Our learning intention is to draw a label diagram of a human life cycle. Here's a great example from last year and another great one from a few years ago. You could use a layout like this if you think you can draw it. Or it might be easier to divide your page up into six sections like this. Or you could choose something completely different. The choice is yours, but you will need six different sections. First, we need some scientific headings. Adulthood, puberty, death, childhood, old age, birth, conception, pregnancy. Which one do you think we should start with? Yes, we could start with childhood, as you are all children. Which stage comes before childhood? Yes, you were born, so birth. How about before birth? Yes, that's right, pregnancy. Let's move on. Which other one is easy to order? Yes. Sadly, we know that everyone eventually dies, hopefully after a really long, happy life. Which stage comes between childhood and death? Yes, that's right, you will be an adult for a really long time. What about after adulthood? Yes, old age, like your grandparents or great-grandparents. Now we're left with the stages that you might not know puberty and conception. Which stage of your life are you about to move into? Yes, that's right, puberty. Puberty can start any time from year five until leaving secondary school. Finally, do you know where conception goes? That's right, right at the beginning. Human life starts with conception. Now that you've ordered the stages of the human life cycle, you could write them as headings on your diagram. Have you noticed the problem? Yes, there's only six sections, but we've got eight headings. How can we solve this problem? That's right, we don't need to include old age and death in our life cycle because adults make babies, so the life cycle needs to start again after adulthood. Now, we need to be able to explain each stage of the life cycle. Where should this explanation go? After nine months, the baby leaves its mother's body. That's right, it's birth. What about adults become less strong? They are not able to do as many things anymore. Yes, that's old age. Usually old people can't do as much anymore. So they retire and enjoy easier activities such as walking instead of running marathons. However, some are still able to run marathons. What about the baby feeds so it grows bigger and stronger? It learns how to be independent. Yes, this is childhood. You were a baby and have eaten for 10 years, so you are now bigger, stronger and fairly independent. What about adults leave their parents and work? They may choose to live with a partner and have children of their own. Yes, this is obviously adulthood. Usually, adults get jobs and live on their own or with a partner. Some may choose to have children. How about the person stops breathing and the heart stops pumping blood around their body? Yes, unfortunately, a person dies when their heart stops pumping blood around their body. How about an embryo grows inside its mother's womb? Yes, this is pregnancy. A baby inside its mother is called an embryo. Embryos grow inside their mother's womb, which is also called a uterus. Only females have a womb. What about a child's body changes so it can reproduce one day? Yes, this is puberty, which is the stage of the life cycle that you are about to move into. You will grow, and your body will change so that you will look like an adult. Then you will be able to have children if you want to. Finally, 
were left with the def definition of conception. This is when a sperm from a man fertilises, which just means joins, an egg inside the woman. So, these are the stages of the human life cycle. You could research these if you want to in more detail. Write your information in your diagram. Remember to use punctuated sentences which make sense. Don't forget to leave room for your drawings. Now you can draw and colour your drawings. Here are some ideas. Here's the example from last year if you need some more ideas. I hope you enjoyed your science lesson. Email your work to the office if you want it added to your class display. Next week, we'll learn about the impact of diet, exercise, drugs and lifestyle, which is also on your HHH sheet. Take care, everyone. Bye.